This recipe is a one pot wonder and it's a chicken chorizo and rice bake and it's so quick, so delicious. We're going to add some lovely Cajun spice into it, uh, some sun dried tomatoes and it's going to be absolutely delicious. First thing I need to do to speed up the recipe is to seal off the chicken. So if you were doing this, I'm just doing two portions so it's one chicken breast each. Um, or you could get maybe three from it. we'll see I'll show you when it's done so you could just literally seal off your chicken in the skillet pan or whatever pan you're using and then you could add in your rice but I'll show you that so to speed it up I'm going to heat up my pan we're going to use some extra virgin olive oil in the pan first of all and we're going to use this lovely corn fed chicken so I just want to show you this here so this is fed on maize this is is here so it's the Borbia quality uh, assured chicken uh, it's fed on maize and it's the irish corn fed and then that's a very important logo the blossna hearn uh, award down in dingle wonderful part of the country so these are the two chicken suprems that means the bone is on and the skin is on okay you can do this with skinless uh, chicken breasts you can do this if you want to with uh, chicken thighs now i'm going to pop this onto a pan we're going to put one piece of butter in with the oil just melt that and we're going to literally place this skin side down. So even if you're cooking chicken at home, everyone, try this. Oil, butter, and a little bit of thyme. I'm going to put some thyme in now. I love these little plants of thyme. Just using your scissors, cut a little bit, and literally just grab it, just break it in half, and then throw it into the pan. And you're going to hear this crackle in the air. So hear it now. Season the chicken with some salt and some black pepper. So even frying chicken, try this. Honestly, it is delicious. Okay, we're gonna start off our lovely kind of rice bake. Olive oil in the pan, another little bit of butter. I forgot to say that when you're using the really nice uh, olive oil, you can use the rapeseed oil, by the way. You've seen me using that in lots of my recipes, but the oil will stop the butter from burning, so that's really important. Okay, we are gonna um, just chop our chorizo or slice it, it doesn't really matter how you want it. And this is this beautiful chorizo here, part of the Spanish, sim simply better Spanish collection. So it's fed in acorns, it's the black American pig, pork so it is, and just, it's so good. It really is delicious. I love this chorizo with some prawns, and rice, and roasted peppers, it's so gorgeous. One onion, finely diced. That's gonna go into the pan, scrape it in there, we're gonna put in some nice garlic. And I'm using my uh, garlic crusher for this. This has been a runaway success with the cook range. So peel your garlic, put pressure on it, and then just rock it over and back. Okay, and that is your crushed clove of garlic there, which is just gonna go in here. And that goes in there. How delicious is garlic? In goes the chorizo. Plenty of that. I'll just flip the chicken for a moment. I'm going to actually use this here is my, known as my essential spoon uh, and this is definitely fantastic. Get a bit of colour, look at that there, see that there? Now just remember one thing, oh I love that, see that colour there? Gorgeous. One thing, when you're cooking chicken on the bone it's going to take longer so don't worry about that, it's going to be cooked in the pan. I'm going to switch that off now, I've just sealed in the chicken. So let's just get on with this here. So we have our lovely chorizo there. We have our onion and our garlic. Now I'm gonna to talk to you about this beautiful spices. And this is from a company called Oko. They're based at Lowland. This is the Cajun spice. You can use harissa. You can use a little bit of curry powder if you want to. And I'm gonna put in one spoonful and then another one. So it's two teaspoonfuls of Cajun spice. It's great. They're all organic. These are just a wonderful company. Their spices for me are some of the best. They really are beautiful. So look at the way I'm coating the onion and the chorizo in this. The chicken is still raw. Don't worry about that. We're just going to give this a nice little stir. We're going to pop in our sun-dried tomatoes. I want to talk to you about these. So these are the sun-dried tomatoes, the Italian sun-dried tomatoes. Left to dry out, you know, for two days in the nice Italian sun. My God, how we could do with some sun and there's some extra virgin olive oil so i've chopped some and i'm going to use some of the extra virgin olive oil and then i've just chopped some nice and kind of small not, not too big 
Now this is optional, not everyone likes the sun-dried tomatoes. You could use the lovely, simply better, uh, roasted Italian peppers, which are gorgeous, cooked in open char grills, really delicious. But look at the color in that already now. So we have our spices, we have our garlic, we're layering all those lovely flavors. I'm just using long grain rice. That's it, that's gonna go in here. So I'm gonna pop that in. And then we're gonna stir this, we're gonna coat the rice with all this. I wouldn't use an aborio rice. I don't think I'd use basmati rice. I always kind of use a long grain rice for this. So if we look at that there, it's beautifully coated. Okay, we're gonna deglaze it. And what deglazing means is wine. This is a full bottle of wine when I started. I don't know who was at it, it wasn't me. So we're gonna deglaze it and Damel is looking at me, uh, I promise. Um, it's not that I have a shake in my hand. So that's what deglazing means. You pour the wine onto whatever you're cooking and you're gonna cook out the alcohol. And people often ask us, what kind of wine, or ask me, what kind of wine do you cook with? If it's not good enough to drink with, you don't cook with it, but not an expensive wine. That's really important. So we stir this off, everyone. Okay, you're gonna cook that out. Remember the chicken is switched off, so it's still raw. Okay, it's still raw in the center. You've just, you've just really sealed it in, and you've given it that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, color. Now, tomatoes are next, guys. And these are the San Marzano tomatoes. Okay, so these are from Puglia. And these are reckoned to be some of the best tomatoes, Italian tomatoes in the world. So for me, why is Italian produce, well, when you look at this here, it's so good. Uh, it's, the, it's the sun and it's the soil with the tomatoes and also with the sun-dried tomatoes, it is the sun and that the oil. So they're very lucky. It's a great country. It's so diverse and it's so regional with their food. Whereas this is kind of like, uh, you could call it a mix of Italian and Spanish and then you have a little touch of the Cajun spice in this. So if we just look at what we're going, we're, we're working at here, we have our lovely little chopped tomato. That's one can. We're gonna use some uh, chicken stock in this, or you can use some vegetable stock. I'm just using some chicken stock. Give it a stir. And then we're gonna pop our chicken in here. The lid is gonna go onto it and then into the oven. So if I recap, we cooked off with a little bit of oil and butter, our onion and garlic, then added in the chorizo, the sun-dried tomatoes, added in the rice, white wine next. I would use white wine, not red. And then our tomatoes and then our stock. And that's it. For me, it's a super healthy and delicious uh, recipe. So we just lift our chicken, everyone, and just nestle it in there. And I already have one done, so don't worry, I'll move this out of the way. This will come to the boil, and then literally all you do is you put the lid on it, and then it just literally will go into the oven at 180. So if you look at this just simmering away, I'm gonna take the one out of the oven now, so I am. So you can see the way it's bubbling away here, so it is, which is perfect. Make sure the lid goes on it, and then, ah, I knew I had the lid. Here we go. That's the lid on there. So I would transfer it from here into the oven. If we just look one more time, Mel, before it goes in, that's it bubbling away. Switch it off into the oven. I'm gonna show you now what I have. So it goes in at 180, everyone, for about 20 minutes. No more than 25 minutes, and that depends on the size of the chicken. With the skillet pan, I'm using a little mini, mini skillet pan the lid is uh, tempered proof it can go into up to 200 degrees so it's perfect and this is it here guys you have that beautiful chicken i'm just going to chop a little bit of herbs you just place that at the table just be careful obviously the handles are hot you can use you know some oven gloves if you want to lovely little bit of fresh basil just add so much freshness to this and then we'll just literally serve this up so with the basil we're going to literally just kind of just bring it all together and we're going to chop it and serve it if you can use parsley anything you want to but i think basil will give lovely beautiful flavors so the chicken is cooked just go right in i know by looking at it it's definitely cooked and it will shrink a little bit don't worry about that a lovely little bit of fresh basil i don't think you need anything else with that you can put in some frozen peas or spinach you know you can put in courgettes so you can mix it up a little bit but i think you just bring that to the table i'll just bring it over there to melna you could drizzle if you want to. I always love a little bit of olive oil. Just over it, just a tiny little drizzle, with a little bit of black pepper. And there we have it. That's my chicken 
Cajun chicken and uh, chorizo rice bake with those lovely sun-dried tomatoes. I think that's one that all the family will enjoy and just uh, literally lift out the chicken, slice it if you want to, usually one breast per portion or you can give, slice it obviously. And of course, anything cooked in the bone like that has so much flavor. So enjoy this recipe. Thank you so much.